You are not alone. As a military guy, uh, I had always been pretty independent and pretty uh, self-reliant, and uh, I could handle most things myself, but all of a sudden now with this cancer diagnosis, I couldn't handle anything. And I didn't know where to go and what to do and, and how to act when I was angry and when I was sad. I looked in the mirror and when I saw what I saw, it shocked the living daylights out of me. When the cancer came, um, it kind of rocked my world a little bit because I'd been a kid trying to be really good. And I heard the scripture, as you reap, or as you sow, so shall you reap. And I'd been so good <laughs> that how could this happen? I woke up the next morning, opened the curtains and said, wait a minute, how can it be a beautiful morning? How can the sun be shining and, you know, I was hearing the birds. This is not right. My life has just been shattered. How can things be normal outside? Here I am standing in front of that mirror and I am shocked at what I see as though I had heard nothing prior to this and had no preparation. And I'm realizing, oh my gosh, this is drastic. It was a, a very bizarre sense of, I guess, disbelief. I mean, this was my life. This was my career. This was everything that I loved. That is an enormous, an enormous amount of pain that you carry daily. I mean, I would walk through the house and see the kids and I would just start to cry because I would think, I just can't be separated from them ever. So I would try to go days without sinning um, and keep track. Um, so I very much, I think, was trying to earn God's love. I saw the importance of telling other cancer victims that they're not alone. That there's people all over that feel the same way they do. People that are um, self-reliant and independent, they get cancer too.